So I think the most important things about understanding the history of race and the history of Aboriginal white relations is this notion that race is inventive. And I think it's, it takes a while to get one's head around. And because all of us, uh, you know, know somebody who we think is, uh, you know, we go, or maybe we'll call themselves black and you know I occasionally refer to myself as a white and well, we have Asian friends and um, and it seems to be kind of a natural category but um, you know uh, scientists have discovered as I mentioned earlier that race when we look for it biologically genetically doesn't exist it's a social construct and once we realize that um, we can realize that a lot of our world is not uh, as we thought it was, that a lot of the world that we live in, um, that we, things that we think have never changed, like family, for example, we have a notion of what family is, you've got a mom and a dad and a couple of kids, um, you know, that's, that's not what families are like across the world, it's not what families were like uh, in different cultures, and it's not what our families were like in our culture historically. Uh, uh, marriage, you know, what does that mean? All of these things that we just have a word for and we just accept as, as our world um, have a history and uh, if we want to understand the world we live in now, whether it's about race or family or marriage uh, or environment, um, we have to understand where those ideas and those words uh, came from. So I think that's, you know, to me that's the exciting thing about history is that it allows us to see the world we live in and then and take for granted and then start to strip away some of the kind of uh, a facade of that and kind of unpack it and uh, whether or not you study history uh, because you want to become a historian or become a teacher um, or work in a museum you need those skills in order to understand uh, the world we're in today if you want to make any changes if you want to get rid of uh, you know tar sand oil or pipelines or uh, you know reduce uh, global warming uh, how do we come to this place in our society where we're so dependent on oil, where we have so little room to move. Um, these are historical questions that, um, that you can only learn by going to a history class.